So that sounds like a ton of research going yes. on there. What, so how long and what kind of the, how does that process work? What do you guys all do to, to pull out all that information together? So basically what happens, Dean, is an attorney um, will do a search of the property. They will explain um, who the seller is. They'll look up the last deed of record. They will look up um, what mortgages are on the title. They will look up the taxes. Are the taxes paid? Are they not paid? Have the taxes been sold? Are the taxes open? All this stuff. They do this whole record of the property um, and then they provide their results to us. Then we do the exact same thing. We provide the exact same search they do. We compare the results together and we produce the title commitment and that's basically the checklist of what needs to be taken care of prior to closing. So it's kind of what the process looks like. If something would pop up afterwards, what well, that's part of that insurance thing, right? Then then what happens? Exactly. So, great point. Let's say that we did a search and for some reason we didn't show that there was open taxes from 2014, for example. And all of a sudden, you sell the house to the client and they call you, Dean, what the heck is going on, man? I've got these open taxes. I just got a notice from the county that my taxes are going to get sold. What do I do? Well, if we didn't show those open taxes on the commitment, then they're going to issue, they're going to file a claim and the title company will pay the taxes that were not paid because that was our responsibility. This situation actually came up last week. So we had open taxes that actually went to sale and we had to take care of that and, wow. and the buyer is not responsible for those taxes. So that's the insurance part. Right? That's, that's what you paid for, exactly.